G'day fellas. Finally, finally I'm out doing something. Yeah, it's been a busy year um, with the maggots and all that stuff. Yeah, we've been busy. You know, like a lot of you people out there, we get busy and it's hard to get out and do what we like to do. And finally, I'm down the beach. Yay. Look at that, it's beautiful. Look at that sand. Yeah, this is Karaklinga, Normanville Beach. Absolute beautiful beach. I think it's one of the best beaches in the state. Well, there's lots of nice beaches over here. But yeah, so I'm down here to do another worming. This is going to be beach worming part three. Um, there's just a couple of things I just want to show you. Just want to show you some more baits to use, different hand baits, and I'd like to make it a bit clearer on how to catch them. Uh, through the comments, I know some of you have had success. That's awesome. And some of you are still struggling a little bit. And that is understandable, believe me, because they're not easy. They are not easy. Um, like I say, they're probably the hardest beat, hardest beach, probably the hardest bait in the world to catch. But with practice, like anything, you will learn. But anyway, I'm just, as you can see, it looks good all the way along the edge here. There's a sandbar there. Tide is low, it's starting to work its way in now. But just over there, beautiful load of exposed sand. Well, let's get on with the job. I'll start down here. Okay then, so here we are. These are pretty much the preferred hand baits for worming. You know, you've seen everybody using the good old pilchard in this piece of stocking, which is very good actually yeah it's one of the most widely used hand baits for the worms uh, yeah like you've seen before that goes into there that's what you use another bait which is very good is squid squid makes a terrific hand bait it's very tough but it smells good and they like having a go at it that's for sure a lot of people prefer to use the squid. Another bait a lot of people use is the pippy. You know, the good old cockle. And um, a lot of people like eating them these days, but yeah, they make great worm hand bait and great fishing bait. There's the pippy. Another good bait to use is the stomach of a fish. Um, doesn't really matter what sort of fish the stomach part is the nice firm part you know if you used a piece of the fillet it would break off and they'd get a feed and it'd be harder but the stomach is nice and firm I took that piece off my carp what is in my bag I use for bringing the worms up now another terrific bait what I have used a lot what I haven't used any, seen anybody else use is the stomach of a salmon. The, that's the stomach out of a salmon. And that's the stomach out of a callop. What you do with that, you might think it's a bit gross, but you put it on your finger. Like that, look at that. That is an awesome worm bait. When the worm grabs hold of that, you can actually feel it on there. It's really good. So, what I'm going to do is try and catch a worm to show you on using all of these baits and brush up on a couple of the techniques for you to help you catch them. Okay? Right, here we go. There's a nice worm down here. The ripper. What I'll catch this one with a cockle or a pippy 
Look, there he is. Look at him. He wants that pee pee real bad. So, right. I'll position myself sideways to the worm. Okay. Oh, I've got to put my camera there. Okay. Worm's still there. So, right, what I've got to do is get below that head. Don't touch the white bit. Look at him. He's loving that. Try and get closer. Right, so I'll come in as close as I can to that worm without touching that head. Once my fingers get below that head, they'll move in and I'll be able to feel its body. And that's when I can, you know, I've explained all that to you before. When the worm, he arches up, you watch, okay? But he's on there now. He arches up, oh, see how quick he was. Now he might come back, but I don't think so. But that's what they can do. Let's find another one. So okay, there's a there's a worm down here. And I've showed you where I've squeezed the worm before, below the head. And it's very important to get your fingers below the white part of the, the worm's head. Um, yeah, you touch that and he'll just pull under and he's gone. So yeah, fingers each side of his head. Let the water and the movement of the worm help you get your fingers below the worm's head. And when it's that, when your fingers are below the worm's head, with the tips of your fingers, because you've got better pressure there, you'll feel the worm, you know, pulsing and relaxing when he's started feeding. When he's relaxed, just squeeze him and pull him out. And like I said before, on the other one, if he's just there and he's feeding away, just push down and squeeze hard. And that often works. All right, I'll try and catch this one with the pippy. I just got one with the pippy, but the camera fell over, so I'll get another one. Right, there's one here. There he is. See him? Look, he'll, he'll grab my finger. You can catch him with your finger. Radio. Right, he's on my pippy. You see him there? My fingers are sinking below its head. He arched up and he's pulled down. I can feel his body. Okay, well I'm just gonna push down and squeeze. There we go. That worked. Here he comes. Lovely. So there you go. Well there's a worm on the there's a worm with the pippy. And now let's try the the stomach. There goes my pippy. There he is. Okay, so you can use that. Fish can have that. Yeah, fish have got it. Radio. Oh. Now I shall use the squid. There you go. 
squid work a treat. Well, there, we got one on the squid. Now we'll get one on the carp belly. So I'll throw the squid away. There he goes. Seagull will have him. Yummy. <laughs> There's one here. There he is. They're easy to spot and when the water runs back you see a v-shape like a pebble like i see them pop up under the water i even see the little orange antennas sticking out of the sand so we'll catch this one with a carp belly it's gonna love this Okay, fingers below that head. Alright, I can feel his body, but I'm just going to push down and squeeze. Here we go. Got him. There he is. They work, they work like a rubber band. They lie under the sand horizontal and their heads come up vertical to feed. And they are probably fully extended at that point. And when, when something bites them or scares them, they just contract because they're just like one big muscle and when they contract they are so fast so yeah i don't know how fast they move around under the sand probably quite fast i don't know but that's that so caught one on the carp belly now we'll use the best the stomach of the salmon oh <laughs> nearly lost me worm and, and another thing, when you're walking around, walk, walk around gently, calm, don't run, don't do heavy foot, footsteps or anything because that'll scare them. Um, and when you move into catching them, just move slow but positively. And if you keep failing, you're obviously doing the wrong thing, so just step back shake it off gather yourself and then um, just change it up a little bit just keep trying different movements and yeah you'll get one eventually right i've got me salmon salmon stomach on my finger <laughs> that is one of my favorite baits that's awesome yeah like ha halloween Rightio, there's one down there, see? Stomach on my finger. Well, he's a bit timid, but we'll go for him. Fingers are below that head, sinking in nice, he's relaxed and squeeze and pull him out. He's still coming. There you go. There's a worm on five different hand baits. So you don't only have to use pilchard in a stocking. I actually haven't used my pilchard in a stocking. Now I'll catch one on my finger for you. I've done, the first time I did that was a long time ago. Because sometimes when you're in a patch of 
worms and they're really thick you'll have them munching on your hands so well, me and my mates we've all caught them using the finger so you just offer them your finger they'll have a nibble not for as long as a piece of offal but they'll have a nibble so you've got to catch him pretty quick before he loses interest so let's do that for you now there's a huge big worm here see he's big he's a whopper he wants my finger so let's try and catch him you can imagine how good their sense of smell is for a critter what pretty much only relies on the sense of smell uh, here we go he's having a good go gotcha oh, he's a big worm but he's locked in so I'm gonna have to dig down a little bit grab him again Slowly, oh, he broke, but oh. bugger, <laughs> well, there's one on the finger, yeah see they're blind so you can imagine how good their sense of smell is, it would be awesome, so that's that guys, um, also the texture of the sand plays a big part, a lot of the beaches along our coast the sand is very hard so you've really got to work on getting them fingers below the worm's head and squeeze its body but I've seen other videos where the sand is so soft you sat you, you pretty much your whole hand nearly disappears and that would be the easiest conditions to catch the worms in when the sand is hard like this it's like fine concrete, fine cement. It's a little bit trickier, but not impossible. All right then, there is one other time to catch worms, and that is night time. Well, I'm back down here at night time. As you can see, it's uh, near midnight and yep, the moon is one day off full moon and yeah just come down to show you worming can be just as good at night time even better a lot of the times than what it is at daytime first time I ever caught worms at night time would have been back in 1979 I used to hop off Port Lunga jetty and catch some worms next to the jetty so I'd have live worms to fish for the whiting in the morning. So anyway, before I burn my eyes out with this light, let's go down there and see if we can get a few worms. Okay, this light doesn't last too long, so got to make it snappy. All right, guys, let's go. Okay, well, starting to swoosh my bag now. See if there's any here. Gotta make it snappy, like I said, this light doesn't last too long. Right, there's one here. Just wait for a bit more water. See him there? Here he comes. He's coming up all right. bit of water oh, yep yeah. there we go beach worming at night can be very rewarding it's a nice worm oh, there you go I'll catch a couple more before the light goes out and then I'll go home so you know if you you can't sleep at night time and it's hot like it's going to be next week our tides are going to get a bit dodgy but you still catch them um, just come down and have a look and while you're down there have a fish 
Oh, good. Sorry about that torch. But yeah, have a fish at night time and a worm when it's nice and cool. Okay guys, well, that'll do me, I've got enough, um, just wanted to show you that worming at night time can be quite rewarding, so uh, I'll take that off my head. So yeah, so yeah, I hope you found that bit of worming today interesting and maybe picked up a few more tips. Um, yeah, once you have a go, there's a lot to learn. It's hard for anyone to teach anybody. It's something you've got to try and try and just learn it slowly but surely. But like I've said, once you start catching them, you won't look back and you'll, you'll have a good time. It's great fun. Okay. Adios guys, and uh, I'll see you fishing somewhere soon. Thank you for watching, and hey, thank you for all the subscribers too, and all the likes and all the comments. They're awesome, some of the comments. Well, all the comments are awesome. It blows me away. So, a big thank you. Thank you to all. And one other thing guys before I go if you want to head out at winter time to catch worms you know you'll have to wear your waders like I have and a real warm top but buy yourself a pair of wetsuit gloves cut the fingers off believe me you will need them because they keep your hands warm because once your hands go cold, you've had it, you won't catch any more worms. But these help a lot. I used to do a lot of worming at night time and in the winter. I actually had a wetsuit jacket made as well. But I grew out of that, I put a bit of weight on. <laughs> but yeah, I don't do much of that anymore. But yeah, get yourself a pair of gloves. Waders. Keep warm and you'll catch more worms because you can catch them all year round. All right, dudes, again, adios. All the best, see you soon, somewhere else.